J3D Tech here, and I just want to talk about some of the moving parts that I've uh, created in the past. Um, start off with this arm right here. Uh, what I wanted to accomplish with this was to have an arm that I could articulate and move, but would actually hold its position. What I came up with is uh, two parts that have hollowed out spaces in them. It's just enough for a press fit of a magnet and three different designs of an elbow joint starting from an almost open to a closed. Each elbow joint has a gearing system uh, and hollow for two, uh, I just used nails that I cut to glue inside of it as, as pins. What will happen then is the, and a, and a cap. The caps are to be glued in the way I designed it to be glued into the joint as to keep the magnet from ever coming out. It's just press fit as well as just a cleaner look. And the way it works is, is the item connects to the cap. Once it's glued in, it will keep it from rotating. Right now I can rotate it, but you'd have to pull it out, change the gears, put it back in, and then it would hold that position. And the same would go for the, the upper arm as well. And this way, I would have an arm that could articulate on two different axes um, and hold its and hold its position. And with three different elbow joints, I could almost artificially reposition the arm of this model in any way I want that made it look like it was an actual ball joint, which is very difficult to 3D print. I have one more joint in this one, which works the same way. It's the hand joint, which would have a cap that would be glued into place. Um, a pin which would have a rod inside of it, um, which would then be glued to the to the item. Um, in this case, uh, a rifle that I designed. And then the wrist itself would also be a, a part that could be rotated depending on the item, um, the hand and wrist options. For this particular model it has uh, many different options for that for the hand. There's another way of doing this, and that's uh, for this one, which was a shoulder gun. And this one, I did want a ball joint mount that could hold much less weight. So what I did is I printed this model hollow and installed a magnet inside of it. Uh, I printed the pin hollow and uh, put a nail inside of it. I've got a cap again, just to kind of make it look better. And once it's there, it has enough strength to hold on to the item. It can be articulated. Um, you know, you can imagine this is on the shoulder facing up. It can be rotated and it will hold its position because again, it's not a lot of a lot of weight. Um, just a side thing, I happened to print this so I had multiple different um, designs in case you wanted more of a traditional or more of a futuristic look. Not really relevant, but just something fun. The other thing that I did, and here's a scaled up version, is I wanted a uh, almost like an ammo um, chain system. So I made these uh, racks, which I could in load uh, a bunch of kind of bullet models into, which I just held together using fishing line. Um, on this particular one, I printed the pins separately, and they just slide into place. Um, it's actually quite strong. This would actually probably hold about a pound of weight or, or more. Um, this is the actual sc scale of it. This one's a little different. This one was actually printed as a solid piece, not separate pins. Um, so this is one print right here. And the way it works is I've got a, a ball joint in here. And this, this connects to the object's back. Um, and then I've got another piece that pins in here. And that way it can rotate around. It can move around a little bit. And that way as I move the arms around, this joint is fully flexible. A little less flexible than this one. It's got the, the, the bullets inside of it. It makes it a little stiffer, which is what I want. Um, here's another look at the ball joint. This is just a smaller one. Uh, these ball joints are not good at holding on to an object, meaning if there's any weight, um, they're just going to flop around, so they're not good for trying to hold an arm or a wing or anything like that, but they will work for something like this, where I just want it to, you know, have an item that can move around a little bit. Same thing, this one's, this is the, kind of the, the ammo belt for the, for this particular gun. we will just kind of pin in here. Actually, it's like this pin in here, it's more rigid, but um, it's got enough movement both with the pin um, in the side of it, there's a little hole right there, and within this ball joint where I can move this arm around a bit, 
and it can, you know, not too much, not as much as the other one that's fully fluid, but it's also kind of like an optional piece where I still get some movement with the arm uh, with, with the way these work. And uh, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good day.